This edition of MSA Sports Center Stage during Countdown to Kickoff features champions, myself, Don Rebel. What the? We're uh, with a pair of North Allegheny uh, Tigers, two-time WPIAL champs, state champs. We got Pat Kugler, the big man on our right. Mac Leftwich, the not so big guy here, <laughs> on my left. Uh, and uh, before we start talking about all the success you guys have had at North Allegheny, both of you guys are coaches' sons, so both of you guys have probably bounced around. We'll start with you, Pat. Uh, you know, generally growing up and now coming here and playing your high school ball here, just talk a little bit about, uh, you know, the Pittsburgh area and WPIAL football in particular. Oh, yeah, well, it's definitely the uh, most difficult place I play football at. I, I was born in Texas, however, I never got to play football there. And then I moved here from New York, and the comparison, there, there really is no comparison to the just the talent of football here. And it's definitely much more physical than any place I've ever played. Matt, what about you? Uh, I'd probably go off what he said with the physicality. Um, I've got to play a little bit of varsity in Oklahoma and then my freshman football in Texas. Um, and those are more like spread, speed kind of, kind of the game's faster, a little uh, spread, you know, I spread you out and throw it around a little bit. And up here it's a lot more physical, you know, hard math, hard smash math football. So you grew up in the South. Where's your accent? You hardly have any accent. Uh, if you want to hear an accent, you should probably go talk to my mom. She's, she's got a pretty bad one. <laughs> Hardcore. Well, these guys are used to being here today. We're at Heinz Field. Uh, you know, just talk about that experience of, uh, of being down here, winning a couple championships, and really, you know, a good chance to do it again here this year. Yeah, definitely. We should have a chance this year. But, uh, yeah, it's really exciting just to know that we've been able to play the past two years. And if we actually win it again this year, which is definitely our goal, we would be the first ever quad A team to ever do that. So that's definitely a goal going into the season. And it's a very reachable goal if we just stick to what we do and we just don't get ahead of ourselves. These guys uh, had a, a long winning streak. Everyone talks about Claire's winning streak. They had a long winning streak come to an end in the PIAA state playoffs uh, as the defending champs from 2010. Uh, your first chance uh, to play here in the big house uh, last year. It was a heck of a game, a thriller that uh, went uh, into overtime against uh, Upper St. Clair. Talk about that moment. Uh, that's pretty awesome to get get the player. You know, I've watched some games here, uh, watching Pitt, and then I've got to go a few Steeler games with uh, with Pat. But playing here is, is uh, unlike watching them for sure. Uh, and then to have a game like that, I think it was only like a fourth overtime game in Whitfield championship history. So to be a part of that was pretty sweet. Now, with the coaching changes at the University of Pittsburgh, your status was sort of up in the air. You didn't know if you would be elsewhere or if you'd be back in North Allegheny. You're back at North Allegheny. How do you feel about that? I feel great. You know, it's a good place. Coach Walker does a great job, and all the other coaches also. Um, you know, I have a lot of friends here, and uh, you know, I think I fit in well. And uh, it's been a smooth transition so far. And uh, glad to be back. I'll save the third question for you in a second. But you mentioned Coach Walker had great success at Pittsburgh Central Catholic. Has had great success at North Allegheny. Just talk a little bit about him. Uh, he does a great job. You know, one thing I think that he's really good at is kind of morphing what he does to what uh, to the players he has. You know, the teams for the past like you know three or four years have changed every year based on the personnel he has. And so, you know, I think to be a good coach, you have to do that. Now you got to have a good Mark Walker. Uh, all right, I'll give you. Uh, I remember before we played Central Catholic, my sophomore year. Okay. He always gives great inspirational speeches before the game. I remember he gave it all about family and growing up growing up together and playing with each other. And it was me and my brother's first ever first ever like season with the team. And so at the end he just says, except for the Kuglers. So like we just felt like we had nothing to do with the speech or anything. It was just a total downer. It was pretty funny though. Everyone else got really hyped and then we just kind of sat there. North Allegheny Tigers, they are black and gold, but you know what? They're not always united. Let's pan that camera down. Well, we got we got the cas casual look here, and I'm not sure what look we have over here. Swag. Swag? Is that the swag look? I guess so. You need some Velcro for those shoes, Mac? Or <laughs> no, no, they stay on pretty well. So that's comfortable for you. Yeah. Obviously comfortable for you. Most of your teammates go which direction? I have to go sandals. I haven't seen too many people rock the no shoes. You're trying to start a trend. Yeah, exactly. That might be a little different. All right. That'll do it for this edition of uh, uh, Countdown to Kickoff, the MSA Sports Center Stage. Don Rebel, Pat Kugler, Mac Leftwich of the North Allegheny Tigers.